Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here cleaning off this Imperial Knight, this large, impressive machine. Uh, shout out to Justin Jones, who says, It makes more sense to name a tank after Rogel Dorn than Lehman Russ. Not entirely sure I follow that, but I think the idea is that Rogaldorn is really, really known for setting up fortifications and walls and protections. And uh, so I suppose the idea is that it makes more sense to name a tank after someone who can, who really can take a pounding, as opposed to someone who's just known for doling out the harshness. Although maybe if you made it like a thin armor, heavy weapons to platform, that would make sense. I think that's what he's getting. I might be totally out to lunch on that one. I apologize if I am. Uh, continues on to say, Racism, as we understand the concept today, does not exist within the Imperium. Neither does sexism, for that matter. Humanity is united against the various things that want to obliterate or enslave them. And petty concerns such as the pigmentation of one's skin or what's between a person's legs are not even on the table. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh... Even without the extreme situation that humanity finds itself facing, the very creed, the lectiti, lectitio divinatus, would demand that humanity unite. Even uh, after all, that was the Emperor's intention from the beginning. Fun fact, during the Great Crusade, the Dark Angels had a couple of enslaved men of iron in their arsenal of forbidden weapons slash technology. That was why the Emperor never named the Lion as War Master because he knew that whomever he gave that post to, that Primarch would betray him. He was counting on the absolute loyalty of the Lion, and subsequently that was why Horace Lupercal needed to get the First Legion out of his way. The Istvan V campaign would have gone very differently if the Angelus Tenebraeum had been dispatched to put down the rebels. What I really like about that is that I barely uh, understood that. I believe the lion is a uh, lion L. Johnson. A Primarch who was named after, for some reason, a politician named Lionel Johnson. And yes, that's weird, but uh, the leader of the White Scars, Jagatai Khan, explicitly models himself after Genghis Khan and his Mongol horde, so, you know. Although I hear they're actually pretty chill to civilians, so, uh... Maybe not all the way, like Genghis. Although I do believe that podcast told me there is literally a person in the White Scars named Temujin, so... The developers of this game made an announcement the other day showing, like, the timetable of, uh, you know, new content and stuff. They didn't reveal any of it. They just showed that they are planning to, re to release several more, uh, well, both, uh, paid DLC packs and, uh, you know, free content packs. Including a couple more, uh, seasonal ones. So I'm thinking they might be doing something for, well, not Valentine's Day, because that has already passed, but, you know. Well, for other holidays, anyway. You know, maybe they'll do a fucking Halloween level where you're cleaning out a spooky house. Or something. Oh, well, to be honest, I can honestly say I don't know that this game would be improved by jump scares. Oh, I saw, I saw that, and I thought it was sticking out of the knee. No, no, that's just a big-ass cannon behind it. Oh, there is a ladder here. That makes way more sense. <laughs> I'll work on this giant cannon. Well, I suppose I already started working on the... Oops. On the, uh... The Chainsword! That's what it's called. Yes, yes, yes. 
Oop, it's Tyros. Ex ex exposition. The Knights prove their fealty through survival of the redacted protocol classified F-266. Young nobles from each of the night houses collected the Chamber of Echoes within the sanctuary of a knightly stronghold. In fact, nothing can prepare the nobles for what is next. Huh. That was awfully objective. good from this angle. There's a banner over here that just says Mars. And then one a label below that that says uh, Mars M.40. Doesn't that mean the 40th millennium? Like the year 40,000? What? What made that noise? God damn it. Oh, the computer bank did. What's that? You want me to kill everybody? Won't they be mad? Oh, okay. I would touch the side of my nose, but I'm not sure I have one. I don't know if there's some rule that they can't get rid of 100% of the brain or what. I just find it interesting how, you know, as much as they hate their organic bodies, the uh, Mechanica seem to have a thing for keeping their skulls. I think at a certain point there would just be, uh... How am I supposed to get that? All right. Do I or do I not have a ladder in this level? Oh! oh this, is a, this is a steam vent. It's kind of nice, though. standing on that and thinking about what it's like to stand on a steam vent have made me realize that I'm kind of cold. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. One of these Pauline plates has a lightning bolt and a triangle, and the other one has a fist above a, uh, laurel. Jump. Wait, I, I can't see that from this angle. The things I do for the, the things I do for the Mechanicus. Okay, you know what? Uh, this one. Thank God for the color coding, by the way. Yeah, I don't need to... Oh. Reaper Chainsword pipe cleaned. You know, I don't need to think, oh, 15 degree nozzle, I just pointed the yellow one. I don't need to think, you know, zero degree nozzle, red one. Is this one always blue? I don't remember. I think I might have been white last time. That might be too far. I'm sliding. was standing up. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Oh, there's purple in there. Since I'm standing closer. I set down my controller to like rub my eyes with the heels of my palms because there's bits of gunk in between the teeth on the chain sword. Oh boy. What if I stand here? Oh, I'm gonna have to keep changing my angle and everything. Oh, there we go, thank god. Only I had to go halfway through. Damn it, why do I just get the wrong one first? Every damn time. Oh. Almost at X again, instead of Y. I don't know, I'm not changing the extension, I am changing the nozzle. I mean, not that anyone asked or was curious, but uh, A is jump and B is change uh, cleaning liquids if you're, you know, using this nozzle. leg purity seal cleansed. I mean, it is just wax and paper, isn't it? Do you think that would have obliterated it? That's a quease, anyway. Upper leg quease plate. C-U-I-S-S-E is not pronounced that way, but man, I don't fucking know. There have been a couple of occasions, and I'm looking through Warhammer 40k lore, and I'll just go, I don't know what that said, how to pronounce that, and I'm just going to leave it at that. There's more there. Hold on. There shouldn't be. I didn't do that one already. God damn it. Got you, you little fuck. Alright, that's the lower legs. It's a big complicated piece. Oh, but I still gotta do, like, the auxiliary pistons and shit. 
Each leg has three auxiliary. Uh, sorry, two auxiliary pistons and one primary piston attached to it. Y you know, because it's a giant fucking robot and it walks. I mean, Jesus Christ, this thing probably weighs a hundred tons. I'll clean off the grundle plate. I find it funny if, if this was a person, that armor would be a cod piece. It almost suggests, hey, I got the tabard! Told you it would clean, take care of itself. Uh, which suggests to me. I don't know, that one of the designers wanted to protect the robot's junk? I wonder what these numbers are. They're all over this platform thing they've arranged around this thing. I guess it makes the most sense for them to, uh, you know, make but one big environment and find places to stick everything in it, as opposed to uh, making a bunch of individual levels. I don't think that's the case with all of the DLCs. Like, one of the things you can clean off is, like, the clock tower after it gets struck by lightning. In the Back to the Future level. And, uh... Oh, yeah, I know for a fact they don't do it in the... In the sorry, they call it the Midgar pack, not the Final Fantasy VII pack. Uh... One of the things you can clean in that is Tifa's Bar, 7th Heaven, because it's just covered in gunk in the way of this game for some reason. I kind of like that. In that setting, you're an in-universe power washer who's being hired by Tifa Lockhart to clean up her bar. Uh, okay, that doesn't make any sense. I'll go with it. Yeah! Oh, I can see. I can get up there. From back here, wasn't it? There's a ladder, isn't it? Wait, no. This ladder goes up all the way to the... Mm. Nothing is easy. Uh... Yeah, I was overthinking that. Second level. Oh, no, it was top level. Great. Stupid ladders. Stupid platforms. Stupid voice of God. Oh, that would be the voice of God for this guy, huh? If the computers started telling him to do things. that one of its weapons is a giant chainsaw does make me wonder how the la how loud this fucking thing is when you turn it on. Like the robot, I mean. It's got it's got smokestacks, man. What even is that? Oh, of course, it's the reactor. Yeah, that seems uh safe. Mechanicus approved. Yeah, I understand uh one of the uh, mechanics in uh, Mechanicus is that the primary enemy in the game are the Necrons, who are possibly the only faction in the universe that like technology more than the uh, than the Mechanicus, because a whole jillion years ago their entire species, who used to be you know, fleshy people called the Necron tier, turned themselves into uh, soulless robot skeleton men. So their entire civilization is made out of extremely advanced technology. Oops, and oh, I put a stripe through it. And technically, technically, anything made by aliens is garbage that should be thrown away by humans as anathema, according to the Imperial Creed. The Mechanicus are a bit more flexible than that when it specifically comes to the Necrons, because again, their technology is really fucking advanced. So I think there's actually a mechanic in that game where it's like, well, we've recovered this device from the Necrons, 
if we, you know, incorporated it into our uh, soldiers, they would uh, have significant increases in this, this, and this. But, you know, you gotta be careful not to lean too hard into alien technology or you could get corrupted. I guess that's their equivalent of a bunch of games about the Space Marines, where they can get corrupted by chaos. Well, at least it's part of the story. I've never heard of that actually being a mechanic. Reaper, chain sword, body, cleaned. Oh, the plaque is separate. Thing, so that's clean too. The blade is not yet perfect. Well, which parts of the fucking blade? Uh, there, there, there's all the R's. Oh, this whole front thing, except for the cutting edge, ironically, because that's the you know cutting chain. It's hard to tell with a big glowy torso behind it. There. Over here, over. That's good. Hold it right there. I'll leave the extension on. There we go. Is that everything to do with the. No. I don't even. Notice Reaper Chain Sword arm. I guess it's the arm attached to the back of the machine. Arm piston. Oh, back there. Let's just do that and call it an episode. No, I don't think I can push it over the edge to get full because it's at 31%. Oh, this little tiny piston here. zoom lens. I mean, I probably have a zoom lens in my eye in-universe. Oh, wow. So there we go. I have cleaned off the Reaper Chainsword. Uh, from the fuel cells to the Mechanicus sigil. Oh, that's above that. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, I don't know, the cutting chain of the cable? Guardrail. I'm almost surprised that it has a guardrail, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I was starting to say, yes, one of the locations in the Midgar pack is cleaning out the bar, and another one is, like, the, the streets outside because you're cleaning off, uh, motorcycles. You know, because you're not just going to put those inside the bar. I think they start you off, though, with a level where you just clean off the Buster Sword. And in fairness, it is, like, seven feet long. So it'll probably take up uh, at least as much time as the bicycle in the main game. All right, looking better. I've even cleaned off some of the torso and more of the face because of the uh, the accidental spray while taking care of this. Looking much better than it did before. Center of that chain sword. Perfect. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. Screenshot. Till then, do your chores, uh, you know, take care of the people you love, and remember, serve the Omni Saya in all things. <laughs> Later!